Meow meow viewers, Brad Prider Barstool Entertainment continuing on with my adventure through the video game called Stray. Now we are entering the slums and when you enter the slums a robot panics and he sets off an alarm. Our cat protagonist has to confront a guardian and once everything is settled, the protagonist can wander around. But there is some things the protagonist must accomplish and continue to do in order to move on to the next event. And I'm going to kind of do the slums in two different, um, how should I say, parts. This is part one. And hopefully I'll be able to translate what's going on and how to do things in a certain order. This is actually my kind of second playthrough of sorts. So I kind of figured out maybe I'll restart and do this in a logical fashion. So let's get on with the slums, part one. Now that you have talked to the Guardian, um, you can wander around a little bit, but the reality is you're going to want to come back and talk to the Guardian and interact with him because he will give you some information that your cat needs. And I kind of wander around here, talk to people, you, know, you do the cat thing, then... You know, you can left trigger, right trigger, and scratch and paw, but try and talk to these people. And to be honest with you, 
they just sit huddled in this area on wooden pallets. So wander around. I'm probably just going to fast forward until I get to a certain point because talking to these people, well, they're, they're not really giving you too much information. After you find out about Momo, you can kind of explore the city, but my advice is stay on the low levels, and you need this energy drink, so play with the machine and pick up the energy drink, and this is the cowboy um, or guitarist guy, yeah, the guitarist dude, and then you want to come over here, and there is this safe, well, you want to get this code translated, and I will then show you how to do that, but you want to interact a little bit with the cowboy dude, never, nope, 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 yeah, don't get a bag on your head. That is just a pain. You walk around, you don't know where you're going. Don't get a bag on your head. It's dumb. And of course, the guitarist does nothing. the guitarist is the marketplace and you want to run directly across the front and in front of the guardian and you can then enter the marketplace and interact with some people
This bar is actually important when you enter it. It'll help you get the translation for the, or the combination for the safe that you found. And I'm just looking around here. Um, show this guy a code. Yeah, it's the old binary code. You have to be here. You know, you got to translate it. Again, just wander around the bar. And at the top of the floor here, on second floor, is a memory. Not too far from the bar is this area right here. And you translate it, Elliot Programming. And this is the guy you want to hand the code to. And you got to scratch in order to get in. And once you get in, well, you go talk to Elliot, the code guy.
Now you want to leave this area and go to the bar again, which is not too far, and there's a Duffer beer sign. And I'm going to do a little fast forwarding because, at times, because this could be a very long video, but you want to come here and you just scratch the door and this guy will eventually let you out. He says, Elliot's a hypochondriac and you know he wants some clothes and you got to bring him some clothing and I'll deal with that but you want to get out of here and you want to get back to the bar Now, this is the safe code 1283, and that's important. And kind of remember it 1283, and then once you get out of the bar, you want to run back to where the safe is and open the safe. Now you want to go to the musician and hand him the sheet music, and he'll play it. Again, I'm going to fast forward. I don't know how much of this stuff is copyrighted, and I don't want to get stuck with a copyright infringement. So you give him the sheet music, and it's untitled, and then he will play it for you, and he'll play those 44 notes for you. If you find any more music, 
you can bring it back to the musician and he will play it for you. Again, I don't know. I, I don't know how much of this is copyrighted. So I don't want to get a copyright infringement and have this music all of a sudden be the reason why I get that copyright infringement. Well, you talk to Grandma, and she needs wire to uh, make some clothing. And you know what that clothing's good for? You bring it to Elliot, and that helps you out. So now you want to go back, and there's this laundry mat you want to try and find. I'm going to come up here, and this is kind of near where you entered the slums. And right here is another vending machine. Energy drinks are going to be, uh, how shall I say, money. You're going to trade with the guy in the marketplace for some things. And now there's this memory. Okay, this is the laundromat where you want to be. And I had to run around a little bit, but now you got to jump up onto the roof of the laundromat and you just do your little kitty climbing up this area and now you see this guy tossing paint cans to another guy and they're just tossing paint cans you want to interrupt this guy you want to disrupt him and you got to meow at him when he's throwing the paint can Now you got to run all the way down back the way you came to the laundry mat and yeah back and forth but run all the way down jump down and get to the laundry mat this guy is frustrated he's got to clean his stoop paint can fell on it and now you just jump around as a cat knock things around and then I'll show you the ultimate when 
you get the laundry soap. Now that you got the laundry soap, you want to dash off to the marketplace and trade with the marketplace guy. And that means you then get the wire you need for grandma. Mm. And now that you got the wire, you want to bring it back to Grandma. And I'm wandering around a little bit. So I'll fast forward to where my cat gets it to Grandma. Okay, the guitarist wants sheet music, so I'm just going to go over to find Grandma and have her knit something, and then I'm going to bring that to Elliot. And the reason I'm doing that is it helps out in the near future.
and that is part one of the slums. I will show you the next part in which I move forward to find Momo and find the related things to Momo, the notebooks. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. Feel free to leave some comments. If you like this type of video, hit the subscribe button and bell icon. I post four video game related videos a week and some shorts and some specials and you don't want to miss out. As always, I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for stopping by.